So I've been thinking a lot about fandoms recently, meaning I'm getting anxious about my future again. Yay! For one, I'm scared I'm pursuing my current major for the wrong reasons, and I'm scared I'm going to make the wrong decision. When I told a friend this, she responded by saying, what are the right and wrong reasons to do something? A common wrong reason might be doing something for money. Why is that wrong? It violates the belief that you should do something because you love it. We don't want to believe that we're motivated by greed. But seeking motivation by love is difficult. We worry that we don't love something enough to pursue it. And this is also my problem. I think of people with real deep passions and I don't feel like my interest measures up. But the idea that I should pursue something just for love seems flawed. Love can be warped or it can fade. But is that possibility reason enough not to pursue something? Perhaps it should be taken as a warning to handle your passions with care. Like one of my friends said, your interests are akin to a relationship I've found. Sometimes you have to work for the things you love, just as you have to work to keep up with your friends. Pursuing an interest isn't a one-way street. I think this is really, really wise and something I hadn't considered before. While my major should make me happy, I should also actively explore and pursue what interests me about that subject. Otherwise, yeah, that love's gonna stagnate. Here's another thing my earlier friend said. How are you even sure if you like something? I can be happy about things, but the process of liking an action, such as reading, is about concentration and focus. I'm absorbed in what I'm doing, but not brimming with joy. So should we be seeking activities that make us happy, or that make us absorbed? As long as I feel like I'm making the most of my day, will I be happy no matter what? I find doing schoolwork well incredibly fulfilling. Does it really matter what subject I pursue as long as I can work hard and excel? One of my friends sent me a bit of dialogue from Alice in Wonderland, uh, in the part where Alice is talking to the Cheshire Cat. Would you tell me please which way I ought to go from here? That depends a good deal on where you want to get to, said the cat. I don't care much where, said Alice. It doesn't matter which way you go, said the cat. So long as I get somewhere, Alice added as an explanation. Oh, you're sure to do that, said the cat, if only you walk long enough. That same friend added, at this point in my life, I don't really know where I want to get to. Some paths are more appealing to me, but I don't know if any are really more right than the others. Plus, even if you do something for the wrong reason, you gain from the experience. So there isn't a black and white answer here, and I should probably stop framing it as such. I just don't know if I trust myself to make this huge decision. I'm incredibly ignorant about the world, my life is in a state of change, I'm filled with biases, I've been reading about the over-justification effect and thinking about high school, and that makes me wonder if my current disinterest in my major is caused by grades or nostalgia. But one of my old professors wrote the following in an email to me. I would like to offer some candid advice. I think your current major would be a really good fit, but to make it work best you need to trust yourself. I'm not sure you currently do, and I suspect some of your curricular wonderings might reflect that. That hit me really hard because I think she's right. Well, as my friend said, unfortunately, as much as you analyze your circumstances, it all comes down to rolling your dice. Something you're going to have to do eventually. Or that keep us absorbed. Or that make us absorbed? Or that make us absorbed? Or that make us absorbed?